What's up guys, Jason of New Age Revolution again super quick because I'm super excited. Uh, I told you yesterday that uh, or the other day that I needed to figure out this TV situation. Um, the During one of the tours uh, of the room that I did, I told you that the Zenith uh, television uh, isn't, isn't looking good these days. It's the, the pictures coming together. And so I upgraded, <laughs> upgraded, I downgraded to that, to the Philips uh, CRT, which obviously plays the, you know, everything and, and plays well. Uh, but um, it doesn't make me happy. I need, I need my console TV. I need, I need this, right? You can, that, that is, that is going down. That is down. And so, so, mm, you jump on the Facebook marketplace and you pull your children's car seats out of the car, you fold down your seats, you drive literally seven minutes away and you pay an 85 year old man 40 bucks for a brand new Zenith color. It's color, ladies and gentlemen. There it is, the Zenith System 3. I have no idea what that means. But there she is, there she is. Let me back up some more. There it is, my brand new, fully working, wood-grained console TV. Mm, mm, mm. Not only that, you know they're 80, if they're 85 years old, ladies and gentlemen, a boom shakalaka, they got the they got the operating guide and warranty. Of course they got the warranty. What are we looking at? 89. All right, that makes me happy. 1989. So we got to check out a couple of things because obviously I have the Sega hooked up to it and it works perfectly fine. Now, we swing around here. By the way, that $5 dollar store remote that I bought uh, controls the Zenith. That's okay. I told you. All right, so here's what we got. We've got... A, f a few more than, <laughs> you know, this is not your usual, uh, uh, you know, back of one of these Zenith console TVs, but we have two sections for um, AV cables, and then we have the coax there, uh, there. So what I've been, what I did was I hooked up the, the VCR uh, and the Sega to, to that, and only one of them gave me a picture. Um, when I, when I hooked up the Sega, here, I'll come back around for you. When I, when I hooked up the Sega, um, it worked fine when I hooked up the Sega alone. When I hooked up the Sega and the VCR, um, I, I can't, I can't turn the channels to get to the Sega. You see what I mean? Because if I just, if I, if I press the channel button, if I'm on, because there's a, there's a settings, there's like, you know, there's like inputs. And on this TV, it's just menu, and then it says uh, it says this. It says AV VCR, right on menu. Um, so there's the menu button, and then if I press it, I can switch. Let's see, I can switch to antenna, and when I when I switch to antenna, I got nothing, and I can turn the channels like so, and get all. So I can get to channel three. So I think what I'm going to have to do is. I think I'm going to have to hook the VCR up to um, channel th to the to the coax, and then work it off antenna, and then do the Sega on the AV section, which they've which they've labeled AV VCR, which I love. So I don't know if I can get two things going um, or three on the back of this TV. I have an RF modulator. Um, a small one, I think, with only two ports. So I could, uh, I could try to do the Nintendo and the Sega on the RF modulator and the VCR on the coax. I will not hook a DVD player up to this thing. I don't need to. I might. I don't know. I might switch between VCR and DVD if I'm watching some wrestling footage down here. Um, so, I don't know. Tell me, tell me what to do. I guess I could, I guess I could, you know refer to my owner's manual with it which is like worth the 40 bucks alone. I love this. 
Um, they gave me a remote too, but the remote uh, doesn't seem to work, so I used I used my I just programmed this I programmed this 1989 Zenith TV with this five dollar dollar store remote like that. It was the last code in the Zenith line of like six codes. It was the last one. Uh, VCR works beautifully. I hooked up to this. The Sega obviously does. So I got to mess around with it. Probably use a mo RF modulator. Um, but I got it, man. I got another one. I got another one. And what I didn't want to give up, I know it's silly, but I, I really like um, these. I like the decor on this TV, you know, and so boom, I still got mine. You know, it's just, and, and we got the speakers there, you know, the carpet, the beautiful, you know, it, <laughs> just great so there it is there's the the zenith system 3 probably back in the day um it was it was probably a uh you know 1200 dollars tv and now it's mine so that brings up the if okay so if i can get the rf modulator working if i can get the nintendo the sega and the vcr hooked up to this tv um then, and if I can swap out the DVD player with the VCR when needed, or maybe not. Maybe I won't even do the DVDs down here. Maybe that'll. Maybe this will just be VCR and Nintendo and Sega down here, um, and maybe occasionally the Atari. I mean, I want. I want to be able to play, you know, the Atari too. I've packed away the Atari. The Atari's gone. You know, it's it's packed away. And do I play it consistently? No, not at all. I don't play anything consistently. But, you know, I kind of wanted everything hooked up on one TV. Um, and that's going to be tough because the VCR is going to use the coax. And the Atari uses the coax. I don't know. It's crazy. Um, so obviously, back in the day, you had, you know, nothing hooked up to your TV other than the cable box, if that. And maybe, if you were one of the fancy rich people... A VCR. So that gives me the dilemma, ladies and gentlemen. What's going to happen is uh, this is currently where the, you know, where the view that that CRT is going to go. I am going to let that go. Uh, I'm going to probably put it on the marketplace for free. Uh, I think somebody will grab it. Uh, I'm going to let this go. If any local people, Tom, Tommy Strickland, if you want to drive out and get this, it's yours. Uh, if not, I'm going to just toss it up on the marketplace. And over here is where the old uh, Zenith is sitting. That is going to go as well. How? I don't know. In a perfect world, with more space, I would keep it just because it's beautiful. But I can't. That's just crazy. So somehow this TV has to go. Um, if you're local and you know how to fix a TV, come get it. It still turns on. There's still about 75% of a screen of a picture, you know, so there's something going on with that. I know you can hear those kids upstairs too. Um, okay, so so this is either gonna go here, um, which is gonna have to make Pee Wee's Playhouse go somewhere else because the VCR and the, and the Sega and the Nintendo have to go on top of this TV and the Pee Wee's Playhouse has to go somewhere else, okay? Or uh, this, this is going to go over here and uh, that is that's where the tv always used to be under the under the window and under the friday the 13th figures and that would go there but either way i'm freeing up space because if i move the tv out of that area i've got all that wall space there that you can kind of see behind the tv for shelves in fact there's a shelf there put more shelves down if i put the tv back over here um yeah, if I put the TV back over here, I've got shelf space. If I put my new TV there, and I get rid of this and that, then I've got, you know, a whole bunch of wall space. Basically, this whole section is, will be empty wall space. So that's an option, too. And then maybe the stereo can get tucked away somehow next to the TV or something. But that's the plan. Um, so that's it. A big, exciting day. Maybe you can hear it in my... My excited voice, I've got a new fully screened, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we call it. We call it fully screened. It is fully screened. It is not an 80% screen. It is full. The new Zenith System 3 is mine. Oh, yes. Good night now.